Hello, everyone. My name is Boo. I am one of the community evangelists on the F5 Dev Central team, and I'm really excited today to be talking to Monaco and Will. They're from Cisco, and recently you may have noticed a bunch of information that we've put out around working with Cisco and working with Cisco ACI specifically. So. Um, so it would be great if I could actually have a chat with Monaco and Will who work with us on the solution um, to describe what it does and all the benefits that people get out of it when you're already an F5 and Cisco ACI customer. So uh, I'd like to introduce Monaco and Will, and maybe I got, I'll let you guys introduce yourselves, maybe starting with Will. Yeah, sounds good. Well, thank you for the introduction, Boo, and, and thanks for organizing this. We're, both Monaco and I are excited to be here today to talk a little bit more about what we've been working on recently. Um, so my name is Will Zupan. I'm a product manager in Cisco's data center and provider connectivity business unit. And I, I created a slide here because I thought it might be helpful to give an overview of our product portfolio that the larger team that I'm a part of works on. Um, so fundamentally, we have our Nexus 9K line of switches. This is what we've built the business on over the years. And this is really the foundation for everything we do from the Nexus 9300 to the latest line that we've released, which of Nexus 9800s. But these switches are the core of our portfolio. From there, you move a level up. We have our controllers. So we have the application policy infrastructure controller, or APIC and ACI. We also have the Nexus dashboard fabric controller. And then we also have our latest controller, which is our Cisco cloud networking controller designed to help our customers who are increasingly distributing their workloads to public cloud in addition to on-prem. And this layer is all about through policy, giving our customers more automation um, and much more control centrally over their data center deployments. And then finally, we have our Nexus dashboard software. And this software features a couple of different services, but fundamentally, it's about helping our customers who have workloads in multiple sites, be they on-prem or in the cloud through the orchestrator service. And it's about helping them troubleshoot and get comprehensive visibility over their, their fabrics through the Nexus dashboard insights service. Um, and I more specifically work on our ecosystem partnerships and integrations. So I manage the apps and integrations that our business unit has built for the Splunk enterprise and ServiceNow platforms. I manage our partnership with AlgoSec and, and most importantly, and the reason why we're here today is I also manage our partnership and the integrations we have with, with F5. And I'm also joined by Minako and Minako is from our technical marketing and, and engineering team. Fantastic. You guys have a great portfolio. Um, you know, I used to work with a lot of Cisco products back in the day. And when F5 uh, started to partner with Cisco, I was really excited about that to be able to bring uh, such a powerhouse of a, of a networking uh, provider into uh, into the alliances that we have. Um, so maybe we can give people a history or maybe reasoning why F5 and Cisco actually partners together. Sure. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so I just talked about APIC and ACI a second ago, which is one of the important products that the larger team that I'm a part of manages. And it's one of the uh, three software defined networking solutions that we offer. And ACI has a lot of security functionality already built into it. But at the end of the day, it's about switches and layers two through four. And so we still have many customers who want to incorporate layer four through seven services, be it firewalls, load balancers into their ACI fabrics. And that kind of gets back to the question of why we partner. So there's a couple of different reasons. One is that Cisco is no longer in the business of making our own load balancers or application delivery controllers. And we haven't been for a long time now, more than 10 years. At the same time, F5 with big IP is the market leader. And so given that, there's a huge amount of overlap between our two customer bases. Um, we once discovered via talking to customers and doing some research that something like 60% of our ACI customers have big IP also in their deployment. Um, and so that's why it's important for us to work together, just given the overlap that we have amongst our customer base. And so I touched on them a little bit too, but big IP provides a number of different benefits, be it application performance, less latency, more reliability, increased security. But at the same time, incorporating big IP into your ACI fabric also comes with challenges, both from a day zero and day one kind of orchestration perspective, and also from a troubleshooting perspective. And that's the core of why we partner. It's about solving those challenges that our customers have so that the experience of having big IP in your ACI fabric is as seamly and easy for you to manage as possible. Yeah, that's awesome. I remember when that partnership was first announced and how many customers told me that they're really excited about that to see you know, two big players in the market 
uh, being able to actually collaborate and work on solutions together as opposed to the customer having to figure out all of this integration themselves. Instead, we can actually jump in and help them out with that kind of stuff um, in a collaborative way. Um, so there's been a, a bunch of major projects that we've worked on together. Maybe you can highlight some of those. So I'll just highlight a few here. The first major collaboration that we worked on a couple of years ago was this design guide. But this provides design con considerations and recommendations for customers who incorporate Big IP into their ACI fabrics. The next major project that we worked on together um, was the ACI F5 ACI Service Center app. And this was originally launched in 2019. I think we're on version 11, either 10 or 11, if I'm not mistaken now. So it gets updated very regularly, roughly every quarter. And this gives our joint customers a number of additional benefits. But probably the biggest one in my mind is that it allows you, it gives you more visibility. So it allows you to correlate big IP constructs with ACI constructs and bridge the gap between these two typically separate teams that manage big IP and, and ACI respectively. Um, we've also been working on recently creating a number of different Ansible playbooks and Terraform modules that again, go back to that idea of how can we make it easier to insert big IP into your ACI fabric and make the orchestration and automation piece easier. This is what we've been focused on with our, our Ansible and Terraform work. And then moving forward, um, and currently actually, we're working on integration of F5 and big IP with Nexus dashboard, which I touched on at the very beginning. And we've also been working on a multi-site, multi-pod white paper. And Minak is going to touch on that here in a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's awesome. So the, you know, I, I've seen a little bit of that already. Um, the multi-pod, multi-site, there is a lot of pieces to it um, in terms of traffic routing. Traffic routing. So uh, maybe you can highlight for us, uh, Minako, like what makes a, a multi-pod, multi multi-site more challenging in terms of services and the load balancing? In general, the challenge of a multi-location data center is that we need to manage each data center network and also the interconnect. So keeping consistent security policy across locations and extending layer two, layer three network accordingly, that's a very challenging constellation. And thanks to Nexus dashboard orchestrator, multi-pot, multi-site, so we can actually provide a single point of management to stretching layer two, layer three, and also the security policy. So that's the general challenge of a multi-location data center and what Cisco multi-port, multi-site can help us to manage multi-location data center network. So it's not only for on-prem network, but also the cloud networking as well. And also we provide L4, L7 service chaining capability for multi-site, meaning we can create a service insertion template such as inserting firewall and then load balancer or even more service devices in the chain. So once we create a template, we can apply this to multiple locations based on your requirement. So not only just managing layer two, layer three network, we can manage service insertion across sites. So that's a benefit that NDO, Nexus Dashboard Orchestrator can provide. That said, we still need to consider how to utilize the resources across locations meaning distributing the traffic across locations. How to keep incoming traffic going to site one or site two? So that's where we need a global server load balancing. As Cisco has firewall and IPS solutions, so we have multi-site, multi-port, L4, L7 service integration white paper, mainly for security devices. But how to load balancing traffic across sites is also important. As we already mentioned, we have a Cisco ACI and the Big IP Design Guide for a single site. And F5 has a great global server load balancing solution that is F5 DNS. But the challenge we've been seeing is how to design them together effectively. What's the common recommended design option? And what if the failure happens? So we decided to write the joint white paper that covers both multi-port, multi-site, and F5 DNS. So the new white paper covers how to design big IP DNS, what's the recommendation, and also what's the traffic path, where traffic is coming to site one, site two, and then how traffic is forwarded within the site. And also that covers a failure scenario. So we have a 
another playlist to double click this topic. Okay, so the playlist uh, mentioned that's on the Dev Central YouTube site, which is youtube.com slash Dev Central. Uh, you'll find uh, a, a whole playlist with some ACI integration uh, videos on there with more detail on there as well. And uh, Will, there's some other stuff that has been authored jointly between F5 and Cisco. Yes, we have a ton of cool resources that we highly encourage you to check out. So obviously we've been talking about the white papers. They're a little bit of a longer read, but those are great resources to check out. We have our YouTube channels on Cisco.com. We also have an ecosystem collateral page where there's a whole tile on F5 and the different white papers, blog posts that we've authored over the years. We have a dCloud lab for F5 and ACI joint customers. Um, so there's a number of different resources. And also, obviously, at the end of the day, we there's nothing more valuable to us as product managers and TMEs to hear directly from you if you're a customer who's already using some of these integrations or have BI, big IP in your ACI fabric, or if you're considering doing so in the future. So we'd love to hear from people directly. And our, our email should be in the in the description for this video. Yeah, fantastic. I'll also encourage folks as well, you know, if you're an F5 customer, at least I know that you'll be speaking to your account manager, you'll let them know, hey, I've got Cisco ACI, I've got my F5 stuff. How does this stuff work together? I've seen a number of customers before actually go through design sessions where we will actually include your, your local F5 solutions engineer and your Cisco solutions engineer. And sometimes we might bring in a specialist as well. And you can run through all of this type of stuff and it's all backed by a documented uh, designs as well. But, you know, maybe it takes going through a, a little bit of a whiteboard session uh, with folks. But just know that you got a ton of information to get you started on this. It's something that is validated uh, by both parties. We want to make this ridiculously easy for people to achieve. And, and uh, you know, your investment is going to bring you even more value when you combine all of this stuff together. So uh, thank you very much for joining me today, Will. Thank you very much for joining me today, Monaco. Uh, this has been great so far. Um, again, if folks want to find out more information about this, we'll put that into the description or contact your local uh, F5 or Cisco uh, account team, and they should be able to help you out. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. See you on the next Thank one. Thank you. This was awesome. Great. Thank you.